Measles is back, and that has some people wondering if a more fearsome disease could also make a comeback. Polio has been considered eradicated in the U.S. since 1979, but could it return? In this original report, Roseanne Tejas examines the issue and looks at what it was like living with polio. Polio was um, the fear and the scourge of the century. Ina Pinckney um, was diagnosed at 18 months. Describe the fear of polio back then. It was terrifying. Nobody went to the movies. Nobody went to swimming pools. They just didn't know how it was transmitted. April 12, 1955. The vaccine didn't Victory become available until 1955. In 1952 alone, polio struck more than 50,000 people. Of those, 21,000 suffered mild to severe paralysis. We have a perfect storm for polio to make a reappearance in the American scene. That's because polio still exists. More than 300 cases were reported overseas last year. Someone could come from Pakistan, from Nigeria, from Afghanistan to the United States, be a carrier of the virus and then pass it on to people who are not vaccinated. In the U.S. in 2013, an estimated 93 percent of kids under three were vaccinated. We're nowhere near 100 percent coverage of the vaccine. For a lot of different reasons, says Dr. Dom. Some parents are concerned about taking vaccines. Some kids don't get medical care at all. What's more, there's an issue with the current vaccine that's been used here since 2000. The vaccine makes people personally immune to polio, but if they come in contact with an infected person, they could still catch the virus and carry it in their intestinal tract. They would not be sick, but they could still pass it on to other people. So the virus will, I like to use the word whistle through the population, not cause any disease until it finds someone who has not been immunized. Dr. Dom says it's not likely, but it could happen, especially if more people become infected in countries with lower vaccination rates. Polio could happen this afternoon, or it could happen 10 years from now. Ina Pinckney says it would be tragic if the disease that's still causing her pain made a comeback. What do most people think when you say you have polio? They don't know what to make of it. They only know that I have a leg disability, but they don't understand that it's now 71 years that I've had this. Roseanne Teus, CBS2 News. Exactly 61 years ago today, the first injections of the polio vaccine were given to a group of school children in Pittsburgh. One year later, in 1955, it became widely available. And by 1962, the number of polio cases had dropped to less than 1,000.